everyone. How are you? How about a hi? I hope you are doing well today. Do you know what our new letter is? If you guessed H, you are so right. And hi, hello, hope, and how all start with the letter H. And H says, can you say? There is a trick to saying the letter H to make sure you are saying it correctly, the sound of the letter H. So if you take your hand and hand starts with the letter H. Take your hand and put it in front of your mouth. And when you say, you can feel the air in the middle of your hand, in the palm of your hand. So let's do that together. Very good. Good job. And as you can see, our letter H has an uppercase H and a lowercase H. As a matter of fact, all of our letters in our alphabet have an uppercase letter and a lowercase letter. So if you can tell me what I'm doing now, I am combing my hair and hair starts with the letter H. You know, there are so many wonderful things that start with the letter H. Like in the summertime, it's super duper. If you've said hot, you are right. Very good. Good job. And if you have a rock, is a rock soft? No, it's, you got it, hard. And hard starts with the letter H. So as you know, when we do our letters, we like to go over and practice writing. So I hope you have your pencil and your paper ready. Now, if you have a crayon or a marker, that is okay. And if you do not have lined paper that is specific to practicing writing, it's okay. Just remember when we write how we hold our pencil. But I have my handy whiteboard here and I have my expo. But before we do that, let's roll our handy cube to say which one, which letter we're going to practice writing first, our uppercase or our lowercase h. Let's go. Well, today we are going to practice writing our lowercase letter first. So remember when you are holding your pencil or if you have a marker, remember you squeeze with your first finger here, your pointer and your thumb, you squeeze together, see that? And then you rest it on your middle finger. It rests, it sits so you can hold it properly. So let's practice writing our lowercase h. So as you can see on my line paper, I have a red line up top black line on the bottom and I have a blue dotted line in the middle. So we are going to start at the red line. If you don't have a line, it's okay. Just follow me. Start at the top, straight down and my expo is being funny. Straight down and then we're going to make a hook and we're only going to touch the dotted line. Let's try that again. <laughs> there we go. Sky to grass, stop. 
book. I think my expo is having a, a rough morning this morning. Let's practice that again. Sky to grass, stop, hook. And as you can see, the hook part touches the dotted line. So we are not writing like this. See that? See how it goes over? Now, of course, when we are practicing, it's okay because you are going to write bigger. It might not even connect. Sometimes you start like this and then it goes like this. That's all a part of learning. When we write our H, it goes straight down, sky to grass, stop, hook. You are going to maybe start this way or this way, but you will eventually get it. So let's practice writing our uppercase H. Let me erase this so I have more space. Miss T needs more space. So our uppercase H is a little bit easier. Sky to grass, stop two times. Sky to grass, stop, and we connect in the middle on the dots, on the dotted line. So let's do that again. Sky to grass, stop. Sky to grass, stop. Middle. And we have practiced writing our uppercase and lowercase h. And the key to getting better is practicing all the time, okay? We practice, practice, practice so we can get it right. And it becomes easier for us to write. So we have a few sight words that we can go over today. And of course, our sight words start with the letter H. So let's roll our handy dice to find out which word we are going to go over first. Let's go, here we go. Drum roll. And the first word is her, her, H-E-R. Her shoes are by the door. Her. Let's roll again and see what we have. We have his. His. His bike is outside. His. So we have her and his. H-I-S. Now remember, sight words are words that you know by seeing. So we usually do not sound out sight words. We just can look at them and know what they are. And this will help you to read. This will help you to learn how to read faster. All right, and I have a couple of pictures. And I'm gonna ask you if you can tell me what these pictures are. If you said a chicken, you are right, but what kind of chicken? If you said hen, hen, you are right. Chicken starts with ch, ch and it's a special sound that we're not going to go over today. So here we go. Our next picture is, do you know what this is a picture of? It is a picture of a hedgehog. <gasps> hedgehog. Hedgehog starts with H. Good job. If you see a light in my eyes, it's just light that's, that's reflecting off of my glasses. So I'm going to let you listen to a sound and you are going to tell me what this sound is. Here we go. Let's listen one more time. Do you know what that sound is? Yes, it is a horse. Horse, and horse starts with H. That's right, you know, H. So there are other words that start with H as well. How about our boom, 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 boom. Yes, our heart and the word healthy, healthy. We exercise, we run, and we eat well so we can stay healthy and keep our heart healthy. 
What are some foods that start with the letter H? This one's kind of tricky, but there are hard boiled eggs, hazelnuts, honey, mm -mm, honey is so delicious. And you might really like this one, hot chocolate, horseradish, which I really like because it's super hot and I feel like I want a, a spoonful right now. Hot dogs mm -hmm. and hamburgers. They start with the letter H. And of course, we don't eat hot dogs all the time or hamburgers, but they can be healthy. We make them the right way and we make them with the right type of meat. It can be very delicious and nutritious. So I have something, one more thing that we're going to do before we go. I want you to practice tracing here goes my squeaky expo again. <laughs> Tracing your hand. That is just a, something great and fun for you to do because as you grow and you learn, getting better at tracing is a good skill to have. So what I want you to do is get a piece of paper, put your hand on it, and you are going to trace the outline of your hand. Let me turn this way now. I can't really do it right now because if I let this hand go, this is going to fall. So I want you to practice putting your hand on the paper, okay? And then you are going to trace your hand. So you trace over. So let me see. Maybe if I do it this way, you can see. See that? Trace. And you have to leave enough space in between. Uh-oh. My board is moving. Leave enough space in between. See that? So I just traced my four, my four fingers. Trace your hand. That is a skill and usually you're gonna use a pencil because it's smaller and you can get in between your fingers. And then I want you to practice making a hill. Okay? This is all practice. This is all to, to work your fine motor skills. That's your skills to pick up things, okay? Those are your fine motor skills. So that is your assignment for today. And that is also all we have today for the letter H at Time Out for the Alphabet with Miss T. I hope to see you soon where we go over our new letter. And you know what that letter is going to be, but you will tell me next time. Bye for now.